Welcome to day two of asanas with me, Melissa. Today we're going to be focusing on bound angle pose. You might know it as cobbler's pose, uh, Baddha Konasana. Uh, this pose is very good for opening up, uh, stretching the hips, your thighs, your inner thighs, and your knees. So if you do have knee or a hip injury, um, you might want to skip this pose or at least practice it with caution. And you might also want to bring your yoga blocks or a blanket to class. And I'll meet you on the mat. Hello. So let's start um, our focus on the cobbler's pose. So we're going to start with our legs out in front of us and we bring them in, our feet in together. Our uh, soles of our feet will be together and our knees will be up to the sides. And we can slowly either bring our feet closer to our pelvis or we can just rock a little bit forward closer. Um, you might find it uncomfortable to have your um, feet and your pelvis so close together so it might be more comfortable here or somewhere out in front of you um, and that's fine. That's okay. You may also find that sitting on a blanket help relieve any of the strain of having the knees out to the side. Um, and you could also use your yoga blocks and you can sit on them, you can sit on it this way or this way, whatever works well for you. So I'm going to remove my blanket and what we're going to do is either grab the big toes or you can grab feet here or the ankles or anywhere that feels comfortable. And we're just going to hold on um, here while we're setting up the pose. So let's ensure that our backs are straight and our shoulders are relaxed. We don't want them up here by our ears. We don't want them, you know, like this. <laughs> so let's relax our shoulders and we're going to take a few circles to just release them and release them back. So today I'm actually a little bit um, tense <laughs> and my legs are feeling a little bit um, painful trying to bring my knees down. So again, every day is a different experience for you when you're doing yoga. Um, maybe I just haven't been practicing enough lately so I'm going to bring my feet a little bit further out just because today that's more comfortable for me but some other days if I don't really feel it my knees go further down so again just remember that your practice is your own so let's ensure that our backs again are straight and imagine that there is a line going from your spine all the way up to the crown of your head and up to the sky. So we're keeping this length in our spine. And you're not sitting on your tailbone. So this would be sitting on your tailbone. Right? What you want to be ensure is that you're sitting on your sit bones. So you can rock yourself to ensure that you're sitting on your sit bones. And this is something good to remember anytime you don't ever want to sit on your tailbone. It's just really bad. You're going to feel the pain. And so yoga actually helps quite a bit if you're experiencing um, that pain in your tailbone. So we'll just turn the back towards the video. And so now that we're set up, again, lengthening through the spine, the crown of our head, all the way up to the sky. 
Our shoulders are relaxed, away from the ears. We're holding on to our feet or our thighs. And we're gonna take a deep breath in. And exhale. And another deep breath. And on the exhale, we're going to hinge forward from the hips with our nose trying to touch to the ground. So that's the aim. So that it's not your top of your head, it is your nose that you are aiming towards the ground. And imagine almost a straight line to the ground and your back is remaining straight. You're not going to be hinging forward like this. Okay? So if that for you means hinging forward like this, imagine your nose is trying to get to the ground, you're keeping everything straight, then that's what you're going to do. Okay? So let's take an inhale, and on the exhale, hinge forward towards the ground. And let's take another deep inhale, and on the exhale, try to bring yourself a little bit more forward. And inhale, raising up slightly when you inhale and on the exhale you can try to once again bring yourself a little bit deeper into the pose now one other <clears throat> thing that we can do is using our elbows to try to push onto the legs but don't ever push onto your knees because especially if you have knee injury um, I don't ever like to push onto the knees I think that it's you know, not good form so just try to push um, your legs down as you inhale and exhale again try to go deeper into the pose Take a few deep breaths here. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, <clears throat> you'll be uh, taking yourself a little bit further down and then on the exhale lifting yourself up to seat it to the pose so inhale and as you exhale let's come up again to seat it and we're going to gently Take our knees in to each other again. And you can just put them out in front of you and shake it off a little. And if you feel comfortable keeping them straight or you can come into cross-legged position, and you can bring your hands to your knees or palms up to receive some more energy. And I'll ask you to close your eyes Let's take another deep breath in and hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Let's take another deep breath in and hold it. Four, three, two, one and exhale
take another few deep breaths on your own. still closed, bring your hands to prayer, to your heart center, and I thank you for sharing this experience with me, for this focus on Baba Kanasana, and hopefully this deep focus on one pose will help you to find what works for you in this pose so that you can carry it with you throughout your yoga practice. And let's take another deep breath in, and on the exhale, we will whisper Namaste. Deep breath in, and exhale, Namaste. Namaste.